Hey there pranksters, welcome back and again in this video I'll be showing you guys a couple of ways that you can sneak food and candy into class without getting caught by your teachers. In this example we'll be using a CD case and a stack of CDs to do that. Before we get started though, I'd like to announce the giveaway for this video and we'll keep the like goal very low. If this video gets 100 likes, in my next video I'll be giving away a box of snacks to someone from the comments. To participate, just like and comment on this video. Good luck pranksters! Right here I have two delicious donuts guys. I want to take them into class and be able to eat them in class, but my teacher doesn't allow me to have donuts in class, or any sweets for that matter, so what can I do? How can I sneak these into class without getting caught? Well, the simple method is the following guys. Get yourself a stack of CDs like these. Now I know CDs are pretty much dead these days, nobody uses these, but CD-ROMs are still something you would find in a school. So get yourself one of these. I got this for cheap at Amazon guys, and inside it has 50 CDs. They actually come in smaller sizes, just enough for like one donut. But me, I'm greedy, I want to take two donuts into class. So I'm going to open up this case and notice that it has a cover here. And don't throw this away because we will need this because if you notice the top is clear and see-through and we can't have it be see-through so this will cover that now the rest of the stack of CDs we will have to get rid of do not bring these into class leave them at home I'm actually gonna keep this dark one in there but these stacks guys leave them at home in fact they'll be appearing in my next how to sneak food into class video but not this one they won't be needed here so now guys, you are left with two pieces. This stand right here, and the cover which twists on. But before we put everything in there, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna cover the top so it's not visible. You can either put this inside or on the outside. I'm gonna do it on the outside because it's easier. Not only that, I don't want it to get dirty by the donuts. So just slide it in there, and that's it. Look, you can't even see through it anymore, right? And that is perfect. Now, here's our little stand. Guess what we're gonna do? We're gonna put our donuts on this. And it's quite simple. Just grab your favorite donuts. And this is tall enough for two. So, just slide it in. And look, you have one donut in there. Let's put the other donut in. And if you were to squish them a little, you might actually fit another donut in there. But two is enough for me. Next, just put the cover on, guys. And that's it. You can't even tell that there's anything in there, right? You could just assume that they're CDs because according to the label here, this case contains 50 CDs. So there's nothing to be suspicious about. You can have this on your desk and you can get away with eating donuts in class. Let me show you how. You'll be in class casually doing your work, but you get hungry, right? You're craving that donut. You know it's right there because you have your CD case handy next to you. So all you do is twist it off and then lift it up and look, your donuts will be right there. So if you get hungry, you won't be hungry for long because you know you'll have your donuts right there at your disposal. If you only want to eat one, eat one and then put everything back and that's it. Teacher won't know. If you act fast, nobody will find out. What I have right here is a stack of CDs. I don't know, there's about 20 something in there. Well, what I'm gonna do with these guys is I'm gonna use them to be able to hide some food inside. So we're gonna hollow these out. And it's pretty simple, but you will need like a power tool. So you might wanna get a parent to help you out. Just tell them that you're doing something for art class. <laughs> That'll fool them. <laughs> this is a big stack of CDs, guys. I don't think we need a lot, about this much. 10, 11, 12 CDs will do. If you guys want more, you guys can make this as big as you want. You guys can use 100 CDs, but that is time consuming. So I'm only gonna do about this amount of CDs. Basically what we're gonna do is, we're gonna take a Dremel and we're gonna cut out a square on the center. So get creative with your cut. For example, about this size will do. It doesn't have to be straight, but just know that the size that you do on one CD, you gotta do on all of them. So we're gonna cut this out guys, with a Dremel, and then we're gonna do the same thing to all these CDs right here guys. So basically we're gonna hollow them out and since it's really time consuming guys I'm gonna go spend a few minutes in my garage cutting these for you guys and I'm gonna show you what they're gonna look like. So bear with me here guys. Let's skip right to that now. Here it is guys. This is as good as it's gonna get. 
but it's not about how it looks. It's about how it works. So here's one. And here are the rest, guys. So we're going to line them up so the squares are lined up perfectly. And I'm going to lay all of them on top of each other. So I'm going to stack them up. All right. The squares are not perfect, but they will do. Now, we're going to take some tape and attach them all together from the inside, not the outside, guys. So basically, I'm going to take a strip of tape from the inside on top. I'm going to tape it all the way to the bottom and then wrap it around the bottom. So something like this, guys. See, there's a tape. And this is also helpful because we don't want our candy or whatever it is that we're going to sneak into class touching this. So we want our candy to be super clean. All right. And I'm going to do the same to all sides, guys. I'm going to cover the inside with tape. Now it's good to go. Now we're going to get two other CDs that are intact. For example, these two. On one, I'm going to place a piece of tape over the opening on the bottom like so and then with a couple pieces of tape I'm gonna attach the CD to the stack of CDs so here it is next we're gonna put the other CD over it to cover the inside but of course as you guys can see right here the middle is see-through and we don't want that so what I suggest you guys do is take a sticky note and place it on top and you guys can label it anything you want. For example, music. And uh, one last thing we're gonna do here is we're gonna take another piece of tape, place it anywhere so that the top CD is taped to the stack of CDs. So now it'll open and close. So open it guys. We're gonna fill the inside with some Skittles. But you guys can choose any type of candy that you want. Candy that'll fit in there. Just dump them in there. Spread them out so they're flat. All right, that's a good portion. Let's close it up. And we can have this on our desk. And whenever we get hungry or want some candy, just lift it up. And our candy will be right there. So next time you guys are in class and get a little hungry, doesn't mean you guys have to be starving. You just get hungry and you can't concentrate in class when you're hungry. You just resort to your CDs that will be right there next to you. Lift up the top CD. There's your candy right there. If somebody such as a teacher approaches you, just lay down the top CD and that's it guys. Nobody should be able to suspect anything. Looks like a regular stack of CDs. So you'll definitely get away with this. And that's how easily you guys can sneak food and candy into class without getting caught. For more similar videos like this one, please visit my channel and consider subscribing. One last thing guys, if this video gets 100 likes, in my next video, I'll be giving away a box of snacks to someone from the comments. To participate, just like and comment on this video. Thanks for stopping by, pranksters.